When I finally did movies, that was like, that was what I was trained. I mean, that's yeah. kind of like... So that came easy to you when you made that transition? No, not easily. I mean, because at first when you're doing film, example, I was doing uh, The World According to Garp, and I improvised. Uh, the, uh, it was the first day of shooting. Who directed? I forgot. George Roy Hill. Yeah. And I improvised a line, and uh, yeah, he made a face like this, like... Mm -hmm. went, not good. He went, no. <laughs> Just <laughs> say the lines, say the lines, and commit to that. I went, okay. And that was the first great lesson. The second great lesson came from Peter Weir, who said, you know, you have great power listening. And I went, really? He went, yes. That's the second part of the equation. When, to, when you listen to someone, it's quite fascinating. And, and, and stillness is very powerful. And I went, second great lesson, you know. And third great lesson is always find out where catering is. <laughs> but it was the idea of these guys were giving me these great lessons. Oh, listening in terms is great. Of, yeah, and the idea of really listening and the idea of what it means to be engaged in listening and I, you find and the other great gift was jeff bridges who said whenever there's an accident in terms of filming not like something really falling down but a line may get flubbed or something goes off he said that's a gift because that forces you to be in the moment and deal with it rather than trying to improvise and create that it's something that happens and everybody's respond now, to the respond to the respond to what's going on immediately and it was yeah. another kind of oh cool and don't be afraid to try those things, and it forces everybody to kind of engage, as in life, with the, the immediate moment. So